What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. What I'm be making today is going to be a tater tot breakfast pizza. This video is in collaboration with Cooking with Christy, who has a nice little YouTube channel. Run by there and take a look. What the concept was for our collaboration was just come up with a nice and creative breakfast recipe. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the i card above and the description below. Anyway, I saw this recipe on Facebook. It was one of those tasty recipes. I thought it was something that I had to give a shot. Anyway, looks super easy. Let's go ahead and knock it out. Come on in and take a look at what these ingredients are. The ingredients we're going to need for this, you could use whatever kind of cheese you want. I'm going with the pepper jack cheese, the hot habanero jack cheese, and a Monterey jack cheese, bacon, green onions. Now this is the harder part of the green onions. I have the uh, softer part over here. They did not use jalapeno, jalapenos in theirs. We're going with some jalapeno. I have some cilantro we're actually going to add, which is another addition they didn't have. Eggs. Some uh, tater tots that have been microwaved for about a minute and 45 seconds. So those are our ingredients. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to get one of these eggs mixed in with these tater tots. Just mix it in, then once you get it mixed in, we're just going to kind of flatten it out. Now that we have these tater tots mashed out, what we're going to do, get our cast iron skillet or whatever kind of skillet you prefer to use. We're going to add our tater tots to this. And we're going to press it in, and that's going to be our crust right there. And once we have it mashed out to kind of level it out, we're going to throw this in the oven at 15 or for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. So this has come out of the oven after being in for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some cheese. As much or as little as you want. I'm going to go ahead and get some cilantro on here. If you're not a cilantro lover, like I said, this was an extra ingredient that I'm adding. I'm going to go with some of these jalapenos. And these green onions. Now we're going to go with half of our bacon on this. And you could substitute ham, sausage, whatever you want. Like I said, this is something that you can make your own. So now that we have that on, we're going to switch cheeses. And we're going to go with... Let's go with this hot jalapeno on top of this. Let me make sure I get some of these edges over here. All right, let's add our eggs in. Alright, now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some more cheese. I'm going to just go with this Monterey cheese on top of this. And you know what, I'm going to hit this with one more egg. Alright, so we got that. Now we're just going to come back over it again with all these ingredients. So. Let's go with these jalapenos again. Some more of these green onions. And let's just go with some more of this Monterey Jack cheese on top. Now this has a little bit more on it than the recipe on Tasty, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to throw this in the oven once I get this bacon in here at 400 degrees and we're going to go for, for about 20 to 25 minutes. The original recipe says to go for 15 minutes. Here's what we're looking like coming out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with some of this other green onion just to kind of top it off a little bit. In the tasty recipe they did add avocado which I'm not going to do on this. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for about five minutes just to cool down then we'll get into it. So this is a done deal. Only one thing left to do and that's to taste it and see what's up. I gotta give it to Tasty on this. That recipe is a winner. Now I, I put my uh, I, I put mine in the oven for 20 minutes. I think their recipe called for 15 minutes. The yolks are still uh, pretty soft on these. If you want them hard, cook them an additional five minutes. Anyway, this is a winner that I suggest anybody try. Now all I gotta see is what Christy came up with on her channel. Like I said, run by there and see what's up. Again, links in the iCard above, description below. Thanks for stopping by New Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.